Hey everybody, I'm uh, riding underneath the Shinkansen tracks here. I want to show you what I think are sound buffers. You see along the rails up there, how at the edge of the uh, wall, there are these uh, structures here. This isn't that common a thing in along the lines, just in this area right here, maybe elsewhere in, in Japan, but right along here. And I think it's because of the uh, proximity of all these buildings, something about the sound in this area that they've installed those. I don't know that that's what they do, I'm just guessing that they, it seems like a uh, reasonable thing that they might be sound buffers. Anyway, there's some sort of a an engineering uh, element that does something. <laughs> how's, how's that for pontification? Ooh, isn't that great light? Look at that. An engineering element that does something. Now, if I hold that steady, what is the what are the chances I can get that to be the thumbnail? Wouldn't that be great? That is really, really beautiful. So anyway, um, this is the, uh, the Shinkansen. We're just in between Shizuoka and Shimizu. We're actually technically in Shimizu now. I'm on my way towards Shimizu in order to uh, to uh, uh, just just to have a pleasant ride. Why not just have a pleasant ride? And maybe if I'm lucky, the train will come by. Who knows? Let's just ride along for a second here. There's that buffer thing. I wonder what these little sidings are here. I think that's for uh, people to, uh, you know, workmen to uh, get in there in case the train comes along. Well, I can't imagine they allow workmen to walk up there when the uh, train is in operation. Hmm. Oh, there's something abandoned. Oh. This whole yard over here. Look at that. For maybe I can make something of that. The abandoned Japan Channel. It's like an abandoned factory of some sort, eh? There's an access stairs to get up. Continuing along. Now we should be getting a train by any second. Uh, this is getting on to the busy time of the day for the bullet train. A lot of people uh, commute back and forth from uh, you know, Shizuoka, where I live, is basically a commuter town in many ways for uh, uh, the Shinkansen traffic. So people that live in uh, live here can can work in Tokyo, and I know several people who make the trip uh, pretty frequently. Now this is pretty strange. Here's a pretty a good access. You can actually access the JR trunk line right over there. I always say trunk line, but I don't know exactly if I'm saying that right. But there's a um, you can actually walk. There's no barrier right there. You can walk right around this thing and uh, right over to where the tracks are. Oh, there's a a fence-like thing over there, isn't that curious? There we go. Lots of scooters. Whoa, this is curious. Wow. Little three-wheeler jobber, eh? Oh, there goes a uh, JR train, not a bullet train. Right below. See the uh, trestles here? How nicely elevated they are. They have a reinforcing elements as well to uh, protect them, strengthen them in the event of earthquakes. Looks like I'm going to have to get across here somehow. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to, uh, I'll wait for this car to go by and then I'll, I'll zip along here and we'll go across. I'll have to go all the way down. Well, I guess I should end, I guess I should end the video here then, hey? Just stop for a second. <clears throat> And uh, say thank you for uh, joining me. Wow, look at those clouds back there. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I absolutely love atmospheric effects, especially when they're related to uh, something else. Look up there, wow. This is really great. This is really amazing. Wow, what a great afternoon for a ride. Thank you everybody, thanks for joining me under the clouds in the sky and visiting the bullet train tracks as we go along. Still no train. Take care, bye bye.